and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you all of the fun items that you've seen in our previous haul videos and how we brought it all together. We're gonna to show you some tips and tricks on how to really elevate your home this holiday season. And I hope you guys enjoy. So right here behind me, we'll start with like the focal point of every Christmas, which is a Christmas tree. This client has, I wanna say it's about seven and a half to eight foot tree. Um, and if you kind of come in closer, you can see all of the fun variety pieces that we did. So we have some bigger pieces that kind of have some texture. We brought in some gold, some mats, and it really just kind of makes it feel more unique and gives a good variety so it's not so uniformed. We also have pieces that are metal, pieces that are glass, and other pieces that are paper material. And I just think that anytime you can incorporate different um, materials, different sizes, different colors and shapes, it's just again going to add to the interest and the character of the space. Um, one tip that I have for you guys is depending on the size of your tree, oftentimes people ask like, how many ornaments do I need? And when you're doing a variety of ornaments, a good rule of thumb to follow is to do the same number as the height of your tree. So if it's eight feet or an eight foot tall tree, then you'll want at least eight ornaments for every you know individual ornament piece that you are doing. Um, you can always account for a couple more in case you accidentally break anything. And of course, if you're using shatterproof, then you don't really have to worry about it. But a good rule of thumb is however tall your tree is, that is the number of ornaments that you want um, of each style. So it built the tree really well. I don't know the exact quantity that we got. Um, I know we have probably, I don't know, a, a variety of like eight to 10 different style ornaments and it turned out beautiful. It was also really nice because her tree already came pre-lit so you didn't have to worry or we didn't have to worry about wrapping it and making it look really pretty. Now just behind us here we have these really fun paper stars. Uh, these are what I showed you guys in one of our videos from Ikea. And so the smaller one I believe was like $4.99 and the larger ones I wanna say were $7.99. And I don't know if you can see up here, but we kind of just installed these with some clear wire and then a command strip up at the top. So it doesn't really call your attention to it very much and it is just the perfect filler for this cute little corner. And then right over here, we had that beautiful console table and I wanted to do something that just kind of pulled all of the magical moments from the Christmas tree into the TV area. So we did this beautiful Studio McGee um, garland and I wanted to bring in some light and some different heights. So that's why we brought in these cute fairy lights our cute candle set that we got from Hobby Lobby and we shared that with you guys in our Hobby Lobby Christmas haul. Um, and then another thing that I thought was really fun that kind of just like personalizes it a little bit is we got these really cute presents and we have a um, local artist that we work with. She does a lot of our photos and so she had these custom printed which I just think is fun if you can find ways to incorporate something that just feels a little bit more unique and isn't just readily available at places like Hobby Lobby and Target. And then another thing that was a really exciting find are these super cute star ornaments. And we kind of have them, um, they're installed here with like this clear wire. So they're hidden, the wire is hidden but we did different sizes and then we put them at different heights and I just think it finished the space off really well. Now, because this is all one room, I wanted to do just a couple of little things to the living area. So we got these really pretty stems with cranberries, some, you know, a couple of Christmas pillows just to kind of like add to the festivity. 
um, or add to the festive feelings, if you will. And then our large gold pine cones, which I was so excited about when we found these at a local store here in Utah. Um, they're just really classy and timeless and they filled the space perfectly. So now that you guys have kind of seen the living area, I want to just touch on the beautiful tablescape that we did in the dining room. So here we are in the dining room and one thing that I want to call out are these taper candles. This was really fun because we did more of an eclectic feel. So you have these different heights and different variations and different color finishes, not only in the candlesticks, but in the actual taper candles themselves. And I just feel like that adds so much to the space. So one thing that I would encourage you guys to do when you're creating your tablescapes is to definitely bring in variety, bring in different heights, and it's gonna just add to that festive kind of feel that we all really love. Um, speaking of candles, one other thing that we did is some more of those cute fairy lights because let's be honest, nobody is going to probably light these candlesticks. That seems a little bit like a fire hazard. So we still wanted to bring in that ambient lighting. And we did that through one strand of fairy lights and it looks really cute up against more of that beautiful Studio McGee or McGee & Co garland. And then we added in some really fun golden figs and our client had these cranberries. So we just kind of sprinkled these throughout to add more color and just more interest to the space. And then we added some more color with these beautiful linen napkins. And these are those cutie bell napkin holders that we got from McGee and Co. And these plates are from Pottery Barn, which I liked that they weren't too busy. They didn't bring in a lot of color, so it really just kind of, you know, neutralized that part of the table. So it didn't take away from everything else that we have. And then the final thing that we added were these really cute little wreaths and we have them secured with the command hooks yet again. So I would say that's probably one of my biggest tips for you guys are to bring in some command hooks because they go a long ways and they won't ruin your walls or they shouldn't ruin your walls and they shouldn't ruin your furniture as well. So that's gonna do it for the dining room. And then I will have you kind of just zoom over here to the kitchen and we'll look at some of those pieces as well. Here we are in the kitchen and we did just a couple of accessories because this is all one open space. We didn't want it to feel like we forgot one area and everything else is all decked out in holiday cheer. So this is a really cute bread bowl that if you've seen our fall holiday tablescape, then uh, you will remember this piece. We originally had it filled with pumpkins for the fall time and now we filled it with these beautiful flocked real pine cones from Hobby Lobby, some really cute bells, in our Walmart Christmas haul, as well as some more of those cranberries that our client had. And that's what I love about a piece like this, is it is so versatile. So you can use it for all seasons, you can get really creative with it, and you can put it you know, in several different areas of the home. So this is a great find, and probably one of my biggest tips that I could share with you guys for any type of holiday decor because it's a year-round piece. Um, over here, just behind me, we have just a couple of little things trinkled throughout. Um, didn't want to like really overdo it, so we brought in this really cute light-up house that's also from Hobby Lobby and filled it with, you know, just some cutie little bottle brush trees. Our client had these cinnamon sticks and our client had these really cute little holiday prints that she made. So we wanted to use those and bring in some height with a really cute Christmas tree. We added a darling green wreath with some beautiful um, velvet ribbon just to add a little touch over the microwave. We got our Ikea um, 
cute boxes with some chiffon ribbon to add just another fun little touch. And then probably one of my favorites is the red wreath that we also got from Hobby Lobby. Um, it makes like such a bold statement in the space and I couldn't be happier with the color and just kind of like what it does to the space as a whole. Okay, just kidding. We have one other item that I forgot to touch on and that's this cutie little um, towel. I loved that it had kind of that frayed edge and it had this embroidery stitch super cute piece that doesn't feel like over the top cheesy um it just again adds to elevating your home for the holidays so now that you guys have seen kind of the main area i want to show you one other area in the home and that is the entry so let's go take a look here we are in the entryway what better way to make an impact than with some beautiful garland so again our mcgee and co garland that's in our previous video we did a couple of um, strands of garland here at the base just to kind of add a little more volume. And then we got these really cute frosted cranberries. And one thing that I want to let you guys know is when you're working with garland, don't be afraid to find other garlands and you know clip off some of the stems. That's exactly what we did here. We were able to just kind of push them in there and it adds this more variety and I love how it turned out. We also um, added our really cute bells. These ones here are our awesome Walmart find. I want to say they were like $12 for the three bells, which is phenomenal. And then we just added again some more interest with some different um, ribbon strands here and it looks so, so pretty. We did kind of like these swags going up the railing. So we did from the bottom to the very end of the railing just to really make an impact and a statement. And if I could give you guys another tip when it comes to installing your railing is you're going to want to get these. some of these pipe cleaners. Um, these are going to be really good so that they don't scratch up your railing. They secure it really well too because you can get them, you know, fastened pretty tightly. Um, and what we did, because garland obviously doesn't come in this amount of length, I mean I'm sure it does, but that would be outrageously expensive. So we used our six foot garland pieces and then we just took the ends of one and then just kind of forged it into the beginning part of another garland piece. So. We didn't take both ends. Um, I don't know if I can show you guys. Oh yeah, I can maybe show you up here. This is what I refer to as an end. So you have kind of this loop. What we did was we took that section and we forged it together with the starting section of a new garland piece, which basically just looks like this, and secured it so that it looks like one continuous strand, if that makes sense. But turned out really pretty. And McGee & Co's garland is like top notch. So if you haven't already, be sure to go get some. I think that they're still available. And then the final couple of items in the entryway are just behind you guys. So we got these really cute wreaths with some different ribbons again, just to add some interest and these really cute cone-shaped golden bells. We also made some prints on Canva and got them framed in Ikea frames. And we felt it just finished the space off really well with all of the beautiful millwork that it has in here. So one final thing that I wanna to touch on is just how we installed those pieces. Um, the big wreaths were with another big command strip that holds up to 15 pounds. So anywhere that you can use that kind of material, a command strip, I highly recommend it just so then you're not hammering into your wall for all the different seasons and um, it just looks a little bit more clean. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Um, if you have any questions or if you want to see some additional content like this, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And that'll do it for today. I'll catch you guys in the next one.